Hey guys, it's Rob, and today this uh, Quantum Q2D brushless gimbal arrived from Hobby King. It uh, arrived in seven days, which was pretty fast actually, from the International Warehouse to Sydney, Australia. But uh, the first thing I wanted to do was to see if it would fit on the Blade 350QX. Now, the gimbal comes with uh, that as the top mounting plate. And when I line up the holes on that to the standard holes on the um, mount for the 350QX, and I've actually got uh, CD's CG mount, which uh, sits a little bit further back, as you can see. But um, the whole pattern is within maybe one or two millimetres of the actual hole pattern on the, um, the Blade 350QX. So what I did is I took the little rubber stoppers off this stock mount and I was able to insert them into the uh, the CD CG mount so it just works perfectly it um, just mounts really really nicely there and I'll just spin this up the right way so you'll get a better idea of how it actually looks now I haven't connected any power yet um, but uh, I just want to talk about it a little bit more but as far as mounting it to the Blade 350QX it, uh, it definitely does work. Now mine's only got the standard height landing gear which is not high enough. Okay, There's about probably about one centimetre, half an inch or so of the, um, the camera mount sticking out beneath the skids. So if you had longer skids it would be no issue but um, what you could probably also do is just put some uh, foam on the end of these ones and I've seen a few people just put that uh, like tubular foam and that would probably get it sitting high enough just for that gimbal to uh, to sit straight. Now the other thing I tried, I did actually power up this uh, gimbal a few minutes ago, just when it was uh, not mounted to this uh, 350QX, and I tried my GoPro 2, but the GoPro 2 definitely is too heavy. Now that may be because I've got four layers of copper foil on it as well, I'm not sure about that, but either way, I could sense that uh, it was like nose heavy, the actual gimbal was tilting forward like that um, quite significantly and then when I powered it up it was struggling to level it and it looked like it was actually overloading it. It was moving level and then dropping so um, so that's obviously no good. Now I had another smaller cheap camera which, um, which I tried it as well and that seemed to work a lot better. I won't be able to do any flight tests so I want to borrow my brother's um, GoPro 3. I'll probably do that on the weekend. And uh, that's obviously what it's going to, uh, what it's designed for. So that's probably going to work a lot better. But yeah, for anyone interested in this uh, gimbal, it's really, really easy to fit to the 350QX. Um, and it may even be the case that if you mounted it on the stock position, um, it's probably going to be close to having enough clearance on the landing gear. So yeah, it's a really nicely made little unit. And uh, I'm yet to test it in flight. Hopefully I'll do that on the weekend. But uh, just wanted to get this video up fairly quickly and show you that uh, it's really, really easy to mount on uh, on the Blade 350QX. Um, it just takes 12 volts power, so you can just plug it straight into the balance port on the uh, the LiPo. And uh, this gimbal is not actually intended for this quad. I've got it um, for a larger uh, 550 size quad. So what I'll do now is I'll take this off and I'll mount it to the, the quad it's intended to. But as I said, I just wanted to post this video for anyone considering it for the Blade 350QX, I think it would be uh, a good option. I don't know how it performs in flight, but uh, that yet remains to be seen. There you go. Thanks for watching.